so the best thing is really to not um, define us define a position to start with. Um, are you saying it's it's the it's the it's the fact that we've we've got a position and we're going to defend that and we're going to attack another position? So we're just going to defend our position, um, at, and that's monological because we're not we're not trying to get to the truth. We're just trying to support our position. Whereas getting to the truth will be like, well, we'll we'll just talk about the the validity of what we're saying and whether it makes sense or not. It doesn't. We don't care that it does fit a particular ideology or political stance. We're not. We're not interested in that. It's on the content alone. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm proposing. I know it's very counterintuitive, mm. it's very hard, but it's exactly what I'm proposing. Now, if uh, I think, first of all, I will propose trying to slow down because we all we all want to feel safe mm. and uh, clinging to ideas that uh, we believe make us feel safe is very too convenient. Is very is too. It's too convenient, and it, 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 it's also very fast. Now, as, as, a, as a starting point, I would say, trying to slow down our thinking. Mm. I mean, having patience and uh, really, really calming down, calming down, and then really inquiring about the fact that, I mean, understanding if we have a position at a very starting mm. point. Mm-hmm. Because if I have a position, if I hold a position, obviously, whatever I'm going to approach in terms of reasoning, thinking, mm-hmm. it's going to be filtered through yeah. and by that position. Mm-hmm. Inevitably. Yeah. And even if I will eventually come to disprove my position, I will, I will be automatically ready to cling to another position. Mm-hmm. That is not even invented by me myself, but has been invented by another author. And is it from that world that the term authority comes from? So they will become a new authority. That is exactly what happens with people. They just, before they were materialistic people, then they got bored or they suffered, then they became spiritual or mm-hmm. Christian to spiritual. And then back to, to Christianity, they call it a reborn uh, Christians. <laughs> so it's very important to understand mm. if we have a position. I know that some, some people, many people, probably majority of people think that it's okay. It's my viewpoint. No, it's not okay. Mm. It's okay to have viewpoints. It's not okay to identify yourself with your viewpoints. Mm. That's the point of viewpoints. It's like science. Science is the beauty of science, theoretically, is that science has no authority. Yeah. It's about learning, creating theories, disproving theories, mm. discovering all of that. So we should think scientifically, but not that we don't have to be scientists. Scientific thinking is this. Understand, do I have a position? Maybe it's not only political, maybe it's cultural, the mm. way I've been educated, what I've been told by my parents about right mm. and do we have a position? It's very hard to identify this if we have a position because we probably tend to be very quick and say, no. Nah, nah. So how do we identify that if we have a position? Because maybe we have a viewpoint, but how can we tell whether we're identified with that viewpoint or not? So I have a viewpoint that, you know, I think, you know, I think it's better for us to, to, to stay within the EU, is that a position? Am I identified with it, or is it just a viewpoint? That is a personal piece. No. What if, it, if, if you come across a person that says, I'm a free thinker, what will you think about that person? Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't. I, it's it's really hard because part of me thinks, yes, it's good for someone to say that, and then another part of me is like, well, I think the premise is is probably false and flawed because 
we're all inherently very conditioned. So the fact you're saying you're a free thinker is probably false because you're you're as conditioned as the rest of <laughs> as the rest of us. That's not to say that some I think some people can be free thinkers because they've really thought about it and thought about things and like if you were to say I'm a free thinker I, I think that's true I don't think you're conditioned like the rest of like most people so I don't think it's necessarily but I think it's I would say yeah okay and the most part yeah it's 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 a false premise because we're all conditioned yeah we are all conditioned <laughs> so I, if I, I would never say I'm a free thinker because I'm not it's intrinsically dishonest mm. uh, because we, we just cannot be free thinkers but it's not really something we have to be ashamed of it's mm. just impossible because even biologically we are conditioned so mm. it's, although I think the, I don't think the people that say that are dishonest people maybe they don't realise um, what they mean by that it's Maybe they really think that they're they're free, but they're not. But I, I don't necessarily think they're necessarily do it, doing it intentionally to be dishonest. No, no, I don't, I'm not saying this. Mm. I'm probably the overwhelming majority of them are doing that uh, because they really believe they are uh, yeah. free people, free. So, mm. so called uh, open, o- open-minded people. Yes. The new yes. age people, the, the majority of them say that, if not all of them. <laughs> They don't quite know what that means. Like, yeah. uh, when, when if a person tells me I'm a free thinker, what I detect is that the person already has a position. Mm. It's, it's an ideology. It's an mm. ideology. It's not a, a very uh, macro or a, a super identifiable ideology, but it's still an ideology. And then you're going to filter whatever you're going to approach next. You're going to filter it mm. the true your idea of yourself. So it's very hard to okay. identify if we have uh, mm. positions, and uh, uh, because we all, all have positions, and we cannot really avoid it. And as a mother, as a as a mm. female, as uh, with uh, my upbringing, my culture, my idea, we all have ideas. So yeah. we cannot avoid having positions. Mm. Believing we can live without positions being delusional. Yes, yes. yes. But, but what we can avoid is the identification with our positions. Mm. That we can avoid that. So, uh, that is very counterintuitive, but I would propose to really pay attention to it in the starting, in the very starting point of discussion. That is very hard that most people don't understand that because they like to be very fast. Mm. I also think, you know, I would, I, I identify as a woman, I identify as a female. How am I not going to identify as a female when that's what I am? How can you not? And then how can you, um, I think you can still reason, even if you identify as a female or as gay or as American, still reason about it. It doesn't stop you reasoning about it. Even if you have that position and you identify with that, okay, that is very complex because there are a, there are a, it's a reality that you're a woman. You're not making yeah. that up. No, it's not a not a belief. Oh, oh, oh well, it's a technical belief, but mm-hmm. it, it matches the reality hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Unless you're a man without knowing it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't believe that. But so that is real. It's the truth. Yes. So if you identify yourself with the truth, you don't really have problems theoretically. Right? Mm. But if you are a Christian person and you identify yourself as a Christian, that is also true, but it doesn't match the truth. It's true because you practice Christianity. Yeah. You belong to it ideologically, you go for it, uh, you do all the rest of that. But you make some bad, not you and other people made that up. Yeah. Well, because I'm, what, I'm, what is important to me then is like uh, d- d- contaminating uh, mm. my, the truth with something that is not quite uh, 
truthful. Mm. And the person, if I don't feel a, as a woman, but I feel like a pony. <laughs> Yeah. Will I be respected as, as, as a pony? <laughs> Gets ridiculous, it, doesn't it? Yeah. If I feel like a cow, mm. should I, 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 if I want to go around and say, moo, 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 I don't, and if people say something, I'm going to be offended. So they are of, they are breaking my rights, my human rights. So, because otherwise you're kind of pandering to the ridiculous if you agree to all these ridiculous demands. And where will it end? As soon as you start allowing them, they'll become more and more ridiculous. We, we will, it will never end. We, will, we, no. I mean, delivering freedom without being responsible mm. about freedom mm. is absolutely dangerous. Mm. There is a process of identification with uh, this technological digital extension of our body, or just the digital, even more, the digital, digital extension of our body. And, uh, uh, or our self, or our uh, digital self-esteem mm. and digital personality. It's also mm. because it's more free, we can do whatever we want. Mm. Now we have uh, f- filters, not necessarily on Snapchat, but even like on other apps like uh, WhatsApp, uh, the filters <coughs> that can make your face younger. Mm. And it's almost, we are, uh, it's, it's becoming increasing, increasingly more and more difficult to distinguish between what is reality and what is not. It will become close to impossible in the future for those who do not possess proper thinking skills. Yeah. To distinguish between what is real and what is not. Mm-hmm. And uh, the only stuff is very concerning. A, a simple exercise I usually propose, and the, the implications are very complicated, but the exercise I believe is simple. What I ask, and this is what I'm trying also to work with, with this person, this psychologist in India, trying to uh, also have data collection with our students, mm-hmm. high school students. Many of them are Hindus. Uh, so what I propose is that if you look at a Hindu temple or a church, mm-hmm. do you believe you are that temple? The answer is pretty obvious. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. If you look at a flower, are you that flower? No. The flower is a mm-hmm. flower. I am a bloody person. <laughs> so that means that there is a distinction, a separation or a distinction between me as a person mm-hmm. and the flower. So the observer is not the observer. Yeah. Okay, this is that I'm I usually propose this and Everybody agrees. It's very simple. So you, you know, you are not a temple. That is a that is a building. That is a flower. That is a tree. That is the sun. You are not your mother. You are not your father. You are not your cell phone. You are not a table. You are not a mushroom. You are not a banana tree. Mm. <clears throat> what about? So you can perceive. You can reason carefully or less that there is a separation. And they say yes. Now, if we switch this experiment, cognitive experiment, and I'm going to ask you, what about if you observe yourself? Don't, do you feel a separation? Or do you think you are yourself? And that, that usually that, that is where they get stuck. <laughs> but cognitive speaking is the same. Yes. But also you can, you can uh, try that with people's ideas. So if they identify as a Hindu... Yeah. So look so, at the belief. Uh, exactly. Of I am a Hindu. Do you are you that belief? And right. the answer should be but, no. I'm not. <clears throat> There's a yeah, separation. They, they get but, so nervous at that point mm-hmm. because you really ask them. Do you think you are, are you are you Hindu, right? Oh yes, yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. Now look at that Hindu Hindu belief that that. that Whatever that is. Mm. Are you that? Mm. Eh, they get stuck. Yeah. Because in the back of their mind, something clicks and they know somehow they are not being fooled mm. or tricked because there is some logic going on. So why, why, why do you see a separation between you and the flower? Yes. And you don't see the same separation between you and your belief. Yeah. 
that is not even an object, by the way. Mm. This is a good starting point to reason about our yeah. proneness to identify ourselves. Mm-hmm. Or our epistemic acceptances. Or our, our taking for granted whatever it is, including our feelings. Mm. Yes. And and from this point, then it becomes far more complex and hard, counterintuitive. Mm-hmm. But I think this is very simple. So I, I will propose this as a starting point. Like when a person says, "I'm a, um, uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, from for the right, mm. political right." Yeah. Okay. Look, please, before identifying yourself, acknowledge the separation. If you can mm. see one. If you don't see one, then yes. you have a problem. You have a cognitive mm. problem. Mm. It can be fixed if you care. Yeah. And there's a problem. There is a separation. You were not born right, left, no. Republican, or. Yes. And, and it's like, can we have a conversation without having to state our political position if we even right. have one? Or well, we probably do have one, but. You know, we don't need to then, we don't need to state it at the start of like an interview. I think that's disgraceful because it just, it it, it just contaminates the whole conversation. I don't see the comment. Yeah. It's going to go on forever. Like, uh, <clears throat> like what you see in some uh, political TV shows where there, are, uh, there is supposed, supposedly there is a debate going on. But what you see is like people trying to cannibalize each yeah. other mm. overlapping, uh, overlapping uh, 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 positions yes. like uh, mm. like predators trying to kill the other predator mm. or to preserve the ideological territory yeah. and to make it and to, and to make sure that it, it looks like the the real and and the right is one. I don't mm. know what is the point of doing this stuff. Mm. Entertainment, yeah. Some people love it. They mm. they get their popcorns. They <laughs> yes. hear it. And yes. they love to watch that show yeah. going on. Yeah. But what's the point of that? We are not mm. going. We are not going to achieve any benefit, human benefit. Uh, 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 we are not going to invest in human capital. Mm. We are going to twist uh, people's perception, and the majority mm. will win. That's it. Mm. So yeah. why? Why don't we reason about the truth? First, mm. what is truth? So, what, what the hell are you? Are you a woman? Are you a man? Yes, okay. Tell me some truth. We can mm. start from it. Then, separating the truth from what is from what is not, what is that abstractions, mm. ideas. Yes. Not getting offended because when we find criticizing a person's idea, I'm not offending that person. No. But I do have the right to find ideas. Mm. Because yes. ideas are ideas. Yes. And by the way, if, when we get offended, what is, what is happening next? What is going to happen next? Am I going to die? No, I'm yes. just offended. Yes. Oh, and so, <laughs> so what? Yeah. So mm. Hopefully what will follow will be reasoning about mm. why am I so offended. Mm. But really, of, of, of an offense that has not really consequences in my life. No. Unless I'm <clears throat> super sensitive and become mm. suicidal because I feel like a banana, but you yeah. don't want to bite it, and therefore. Uh, I think I think it's healthy and important to offend, but it should not be harassment. Harassment is something different, anyway. It's a totally different thing to being offended, because offended is. When you're offended, it it's usually because someone's got a good argument and they are criticizing, but always in a in good spirit, you know, not mm, being malicious, but just stating the facts, and, and you get offended. Well, so what? You know, that's really important. But when you start harassing, using fallacies, ad hominem fallacy, attacking the speaker, you know, this is a that's harassment. That's different. Yeah, uh, harassment, also stupidity, mm. because that is, you want to overimpose yourself on the mm. other person, you take pleasure from uh, that person's uh, suffering, uh, and all this sort of like, stupid stuff. Mm. But uh, uh, that that's another valid mm. argument should be uh, 
a part of our a education, mm. distinguishing between what yes. is a harassment and what, and what is a reasonable offense. Yes. 